Hello, welcome to the Farm Bureau Capital Roundup for Friday, June 17th. I'm Jake Parker. I'm Paul Sherman. Uh, Paul, this week there was a lot going on. Let's start with Tuesday. Okay. The House passed H992, bill dealing with industrial hemp, which we've talked about in the past. Give us a real quick summary. Yeah, quickly make some conforming changes so that it matches up more with the with the federal law. Um, also in, uh, enlarges the commission, the, the membership of the commission, including adding a farmer on that commission. There were amendments passed in the House um, on Tuesday that uh, provided an acreage restriction on the growing of that for um, two years, uh, up to in 2018. If you have, um, you can't have more. You can't have more than 100 acres, and there can only be, I think it's 25,000 acres total that can be grown in the state under the program. So a little bit of a tightening there mm -hmm. uh, that was added as the bill went along. That bill now moves on to the Senate. We aren't really sure what's going to happen with it yet, but we'll continue to watch that one as we go. Uh, on Wednesday, no bills passed, but we worked really hard. There had a lot hard. going on. Uh, the Secretary, uh, Foreign Minister of Mexico was in town mm -hmm. and uh, we spent some time with her and some legislators. It was a good visit yes. and uh, a nice day. But Thursday, uh, a lot happened and so uh, let's talk about that. S-770, the North Carolina Farm Act, passed second reading in the House. Mm -hmm. Two provisions in there of note. One, you can shoot hogs from the sky, uh, a feral hog uh, elimination bill. Well, or well, not something you, like but somebody, the, wildlife, wildlife resources can. And then uh, a change to the capacity use areas to exempt farmers. Right, for them, but no permits if they expand capacity use areas. Right, lots of other so provisions in that bill. Right, we need YouTube hits, so go back to previous versions and look at the old videos and you'll know everything you want to know about the Farm Act. Yep, and that bill's moving on, That or it'll have a third reading in the Senate on uh, next week at some yeah, point. Yeah, early in the week. Yep. Uh, then there was H763, it's a House bill that was in the Senate, and it turned into a military bill. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it's something that was previously included in a House regulatory reform bill. The House regulatory reform bill now includes it as a study, but this is a um, deals with the military and their fly zones, um, limiting and putting in, I guess, additional, um, not necessarily restrictions, but additional permitting requirements um, for large wind turbines and, and even in some tall structures. Um, anywhere under a, a zone that they've now mapped, there'll be a publicly available map that uh, essentially looks at these military fly zones uh, to try to I guess, provide some certainty for the military that, they're, that these, these flyways are gonna be, gonna be protected. Um, also in the bill, um, there's some uh, things in there that, that for um, looking at uh, sentinel lands. Mm -hmm. And so this is, is a little more of a codification of things that the, that the Department of Agriculture and the University and, and Farm Bureau have all been working on for a very long time. This sort of formalizes this sentinel lands program so they can work um, in concert with DOD um, and, and do some, bring in some, hopefully bring in some federal dollars to, to do some conservation to protect working lands around military bases and also help protect these flyways. Right, that's been a big priority for Farm Bureau over the last few years. That bill is going to go for a third reading next week as well. Uh, then we had reg reform bills moving. There are now three of them. One was unveiled this week. That's H593. It was unveiled in the Senate Ag and Environment Committee. Uh, and then there are two others moving. Uh, the House passed S-303, which is their version of a reg reform bill. Yes. And the Senate passed H-169, which is a regulatory reduction bill. Yes. And so those bills are moving around, and if anybody can keep up with it. Yeah. They'll, they'll be, yes, we would assume they would be combined into possibly two bills instead of three when they're, when they're all brought together. Maybe one. And maybe one makes it move a little easier, I don't know, or just quicker, because it seems like some of the budget negotiations are starting to happen, right. and uh, we may actually be getting out soon. I don't know when starting to that'll be, things. but the pace of play at the General Assembly is starting to pick up. Mm -hmm. So lots of bills on Thursday, and I presume a lot of bills next week, too, that we'll be uh, right here to report on those uh, next week. So with that, I'm Jake Parker. I'm Paul Sherman. Thanks for watching. Take care.